us. Are we the people responsible for the chaos that is enveloping America? That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. The folks are indeed responsible for the government they get. Germans could have thrown Hitler out. They did not. Russians fought hard for Stalin. The Chinese surrendered to Mao. The Cubans allowed Fidel Castro to take away their liberty. The folks are responsible. And now Americans are faced with a citizen challenge, not at the levels of totalitarianism, but a very serious economic situation. Yesterday, the Government Accountability Office, the nonpartisan investigative arm of Congress, released its annual audit of the U.S. government. The report covers the fiscal years 2011 and 12. The conclusion of the report is this, quote, Absent policy changes, the federal government continues to face an unsustainable fiscal path. Let me repeat that. Absent policy changes, the federal government continues to face an unsustainable fiscal path. If the feds do not stop the wild spending and do not reform Medicare and Social Security, the U.S. dollar will collapse. That means that all of our savings, all of our investments, our homes, and everything else will blow up before our eyes. Now, chances are you will not hear about the GAO's report today, except on this program. The liberal media will not tell you what is going on. The reason? The President Obama does not, does not want to cut federal spending or reform entitlements. That is crystal clear. And the media loves President Obama. So the folks be damned. This is like telling people standing on a beach, hey, a tsunami's coming. And if you don't move, you're going to be killed. But the beach folks say, I like it here. I'm not moving. And then eventually the wave sweeps them away. That's exactly what's happening now. We're living in a country that's polarized. We're also living in a country that is becoming addicted to machines, the Internet. We discussed that last night. Many American citizens, perhaps most, are now too lazy to pay attention to their country. They're selfish, caught up in individual pursuits. Thus, the federal government has been allowed by the we the people to get out of control. Last year, the Fed spent $1.1 trillion more than the government took in. That is grossly irresponsible. The debt now approaching $17 trillion. President Obama, the biggest spending chief executive in history. So, I have to play Paul Revere here. I have to continue to tell you the truth. But I also believe many Americans simply will not listen. And even worse, they are not smart enough, not smart enough to even care. Disaster could be coming. Hi, I'm Krista, and my husband and I, between us, have eight kids, so we're very, very busy. Uh, we're running everywhere all the time, and I like to work from home. I, I don't want to be in a corporate job, which I've done before lots of times, and I want to be able to be home with my kids. It's something important to us. So when GoFoods found us, it was a solution to a lot of our family's needs. One of the things that's important to our family is eating healthy. Um, another thing is eating economical and I was feeling a little bit guilty as a mom because there were a lot of times where things got crazy at home so I found myself at seven eight o'clock at night realizing that I hadn't made dinner and I felt bad about that and Go Foods changed all that for me because now I get dinner on the table it takes me 15 minutes I don't have to think about it everybody's happy I know I'm feeding my kids something that's great for them and then I decided that as a business person, it made so much sense to share this with other people. We found that we were saving a couple hundred dollars a month using GoFoods, and that was without having to, to search out coupons or anything else. We just took some of the money we already spend on food, and we started buying food from ourselves, investing in ourselves and buying GoFoods. And now we're saving money, and I feel kind of an obligation to share that with people that I care about. So the other day I, I took dinner to a neighbor, another busy mom friend neighbor, and just made up some GoFoods. Took me a few minutes to make it, brought it over, and uh, last night I got a note from her, and, and she said in the note that she says, I have it right here, she says, thank you so much for the supper last night. It was so delicious and so welcome. The kids loved every bite, and it was so nice not to have to worry about supper. And 
it was it's that easy it's that easy to share food with people and to make money doing it and give them the opportunity to save money and get food on their table faster and to make money because everybody needs some extra money it doesn't matter where you live we we live in a pretty nice neighborhood and you'd think that everything was great for all the neighbors it's really not it, if you really dig deep into it there's a lot of people struggling and go foods saves you money it makes you money and it gets your family back to the table together and that's why we love go foods i think go foods has saved our family in a lot of ways that we really needed without even knowing we needed it